What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to dive into your fears of cold calling. This is a crazy concept to me, this fear of cold calling thing. Everybody goes through the same exact stages. The top producers, you know what they do? They just go right through that, that fear and that pain that they're feeling of making those calls. They go through that anyway because they know what's on the other side. Your greatest dreams, all of the goals, everything you want out of life is right on the other side of your fears. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. I had a ton of comments the other day on Instagram, but I'm gonna go through a couple of them here in a minute about why people are scared. They were telling me why they are scared to make calls or what their problem is or why they didn't make calls. So I wanna address a couple of those comments in just a second. But for now, I wanna go deeper into my philosophies of this fear of cold calling you know, idea. If you're scared to make calls and you let that prevent you from making calls and succeeding, then that tells me a lot about you because what you're saying is, is you're not willing to do what it takes to succeed, which tells me that you really don't want to succeed as bad as you say you want to succeed. And what's even worse than that to me is the fact that a lot of you have families and you're, you're holding them back. You're not succeeding, and so that is preventing your family from succeeding. All this fear is, is fear of rejection, fear of failure, fear of getting hung up on, fear of people being mad at you. Let me squash that right this second. If you will stand behind and be confident in who you are, that you are here on this earth to genuinely help people and that your intentions are to help these people do what they need to do, then you shouldn't care what anyone thinks about you. If someone hangs up on you, that was their loss because you were there to help them and they didn't see it. If someone cusses you out, I'm gonna get mad with them. If someone cusses me out on the phone, I'm probably gonna cuss back to them because they're basically telling me that they don't think that I'm there for the right reasons when I know I am. See, I'm so confident in the reason why I'm making these calls that nothing can phase me. Nothing can take me down because I know I'm there to help them. If they don't see it, that is their loss. Probably a good 20 to 30% of people that you talk to are gonna like you enough and love you enough to do business with you forever. Now you got this 70 to 80% of people who either don't like you, think you're a scam, or they already have an agent that they're gonna do business with. But you have to go through those 70 to 80% of people to get to that 20 to 30% of people. There's no way that you can do one without the other. When I'm making calls today, as good as I am on the phone, I still have people, and you guys can go back and watch my videos of me making calls here recently, I still to this day have people who think that I'm a scam or you know, think that my intentions are not in the right place or think that I'm just there to try to list their property. When that is so far from the truth, it's not even funny. So I want you to understand how selfish you are if you're not doing everything that you can do to be successful for your family. I want to succeed for me, my family, and everyone that wants to see me succeed. I want to succeed for them more than anything. And I'll do anything that it takes. If there's something that I can do, I'm gonna do it. There's no questions asked. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it at the highest level, and I'm gonna do it as much as I can. Why? Because I wanna succeed at the highest level. I wanna have an abundance of success. I don't wanna put something under contract to know that I have 30,000 coming in the next month and say, okay, I can just I can just sit back, I can, I can enjoy this for a second. I can, no, I'm gonna continue pushing, continue making calls because I need to turn that into 50, into 70, into 100, into 150. I have to stockpile my success for my family, for everyone around me that wants to see me succeed. All the agents in your company want to see you succeed. Your parents want to see you succeed. All your coworkers want to see you succeed. All your friends from high school want to see you succeed. And the ones that don't, that's okay. 
You're always gonna have people out there, negative people, naysayers, you're always gonna have that. That's part of the process as well. We're always gonna focus on the people who want to see you succeed. When we're making our calls, we're gonna focus on the people who want to do business with us, not the people who don't. It takes me back to when people are making phone calls and they message me and say, there's a lot of bad numbers out there. So they called 100 people and you know, they talked to seven people. It took them an hour to dial the 100 numbers on a dialer. They talked to seven people. You know, 30, 40 numbers were bad. They left a lot of voicemails and they're very upset about this. They're focused on the wrong thing. You're focused on the numbers that are bad and you're not even focusing on the seven people that you had incredible conversations with that are probably going to do business with you for the rest of their life, send you all the referrals, etc., etc. Now, I could go on and on and on about this, different philosophies around why you should not care what people think, why you should make phone calls. And, and let's, let's talk about this for a second. It doesn't have to be property owners, expired for sale by owners. You know, it, it could be following up, it could be buyer leads. I don't, it doesn't matter who you're calling. When you get a buyer lead, you have to call them. There has to be voice to voice or there will be no deal. Voice to voice is the only way to make real estate successful for you and it is the reason why technology will not replace us. So if you're going to use technology and people can just, you know, buy and sell online without talking, then there's literally no need for a real estate agent. Computers will figure out how to do that then. You know, robots will, will, will be handling real estate if that's what you believe, but that's not gonna happen because the voice to voice is what has to happen. Now let me get into a couple of these comments that I got on uh, Instagram last week. One person said distractions was getting in their way and my response was, don't let distractions get, get in your way and the way you do that is pretend like you're showing property for three hours. Sometimes when you're showing property for a couple of hours, and you get a phone call or you get an email, you don't stop what you're doing. You don't tell that buyer, you know, I'm gonna, I, I gotta go, I gotta handle this email, I gotta go do this counter offer. No, you wait till you're done showing property after the two or three hours to handle that task, which means what? Which means that all these little distractions and all these little squirrels running and you just wanna chase them can wait. So time block your calls, make your calls, and handle all the stuff that happened while you're making your calls after you made your calls. This person said they had no money to keep paying for the Red X service, okay? And my response was, I'm sorry, but this is a horrible excuse. Red X Geo leads are only $50 a month for 2,000 leads. And if you really can't afford $50 a month for sale by owners and door knocking are free. By the way, guys, if you wanna save $150 with Red X, there's a link in the description, or if you're in my free coaching program, it's there at zerotodiamond.com, Geo leads with Red X gives you 2,000 numbers per month of any property owners that you want in your market. You pick the property owners and you get their phone numbers. You call them using my circle prospecting scripts and start building your business. This person said anxiety got the best of them yesterday. And my response was the only anxiety you should have is from knowing that people are out there that need your help and they're just sitting by the phone waiting on you to call. One person here says they, they do make calls but a lot of times they don't, and it's because they don't see any results. And my response was, you're not seeing any results because you quit making the calls. You have to continue making the calls. When you're in the beginning of your calling career, and you start making calls, sure, your results in the beginning are gonna be so-so because you're still getting used to how to make calls. Your tone means a lot. Your body language, even though they can't see you, they can hear your body language. Are you tense? Are you happy? Are you relaxed? They can hear all this stuff. And we wanna to talk to people like they're our family. We wanna use the FE, friend or family effect. That conversation you have with your mom, your dad, your best friend, you wanna emulate that exact tone um, um, how they're comfortable, how you're comfortable, everything. You wanna emulate that situation when you're making your calls. This person said that they're scared. They don't like getting hung up on. And my response was, is what's so bad about getting hung up on? You know, are you telling me that getting hung up on, which does nothing, right? Nobody comes and, and puts you under arrest or, or punches you in the face, none of that happens. They just hang up on you and that's the end of it. It actually gives you more time that you can call more people but are you telling me that the fear of getting hung up on is much greater than the level that you wanna succeed at? 
Yeah, you're, you're more scared of getting hung up on than you want to succeed. Doesn't make any sense. This person says preparation, not prepared with marketing material, weekly emails, or a CRM yet. My response was, okay, well, I don't even have a CRM. Okay, so that's not an excuse. What research do you need? All you need to know is about how one house sold in the area and what marketing material do you need to make calls? These excuses that I'm hearing are so... I don't want to say ridiculous, but uh, but they're, they're 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 imaginary. They don't exist. These excuses don't exist. So anyway, I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of you are scared to make calls, and it's it's enough already. We have to cave in to the fact that we have to make calls. There's no way around this. I don't care where you get your leads or what form of business you have. If you want to sell property, the, the end result is you have to talk to people. And the more people you talk to, the more business you're gonna do. I would love to hear your two cents on this. Comment below if this video helped you. If it didn't help you, please let me know what your excuse is of why you don't make calls. I would love to hear about it. And as always, let me know what videos you want me to make. And if there's anything in the world I can do for you until the next video, guys. Guys, let's go.